This is the model 430 torque control Taylor freezer. It has a four quart freezing cylinder and is capable of producing a variety of frozen products. This video will show you the proper operating and cleaning procedures for this model. We begin our instructions at the point where you enter the store in the morning and find the parts disassembled and laid out to air dry from a previous night's cleaning. When lubricating parts, always use an approved food grade lubricant. Lubricate both grooves on the drive shaft and install the O-ring. Lubricate the entire shaft, but do not lubricate the square end of the shaft. Slide the boot seal on until it snaps into place on the groove. Fill the seal with lubricant and evenly coat the seal edge. Firmly insert the drive shaft into the rear shell bearing until it engages into the drive unit. Assemble the metal clip to the plastic scraper blade. Place it on the beater holding pin and slide the beater into the freezing cylinder so the hole at the end of the beater engages onto the drive shaft. Install the white plastic guide bearing onto the short end of the torque rotor. Insert the small O-ring on the other end of the rotor and lubricate. Install the bearing end of the rotor into the cylinder so it engages into the hole of the drive shaft. Turn the rotor until the hole is at the top and bottom. Slide the two O-rings into the grooves of the draw valve and lubricate thoroughly. Insert the draw valve into the door leaving about a half inch left out at the top. Turn the draw valve as shown and insert the ice buster through the back of the door. Rotate the draw valve again so the hole aligns with the angled slot. Insert the handle and then the draw handle pin. Slide the white plastic bearing over the hub on the back of the freezer door. Be certain the flanged edge is against the door. Carefully insert the large rubber gasket into the groove on the back of the door but do not lubricate. Be certain the large rubber gasket is still in place and install the door onto the four studs. Place the hand screws on the studs and hand tighten equally in a crisscross pattern. Insert the torque arm into the torque rotor. Slide the drip pan into place and install the front drip tray and splash shield. Prepare two gallons of an approved cleaner sanitizer with warm water and pour it into the hopper. While the solution is filling the freezing cylinder, brush clean the hopper, mix probes, and the mix inlet hole. Place the power switch in the wash position and agitate the solution for five minutes. After five minutes, place a pail beneath the door spout, open the draw handle, and draw off all the solution. When the solution stops flowing, close the draw handle and place the control switch to the off or center position and discard the solution. Mix the fresh product to the recommended proportions. Place an empty pail beneath the door spout and open the draw handle. Pour the mix into the hopper. As the mix fills the freezing cylinder, it will flush out any remaining sanitizer. When full strength mix is flowing from the spout, close the draw handle. If the product being run requires use of the mix feed tube, sanitize and install the tube. The feed hole should be at the bottom. Replace the hopper cover. Place the power switch in auto. When the machine cycles off, the product will be ready to serve. This machine is equipped with mix low and mix out lights. Mix low is a reminder to add more mix. Mix out will shut the machine off automatically until mix is added. When recommended cleaning is required, remove the hopper cover and take it to the sink for cleaning. With the pail beneath the door spout, Place the power switch in the wash 
position and open the draw spout. When all of the product is drained, close the draw handle and place the power switch in the off position. Pour two gallons of cool, clean water into the hopper. Scrub the entire mix hopper and the mix inlet hole. With a pail beneath the door spout, place the power switch in the wash position and open the draw valve. When the water stops flowing from the door spout, close the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Repeat rinsing until the water being discharged is clear. Prepare two gallons of cleaner sanitizer. Pour it into the hopper and repeat the brush cleaning of the hopper and mix inlet hole. Place the power switch in the wash position to agitate the solution. Open the draw valve and drain off all of the solution. When the solution stops flowing, close the draw valve and place the power switch in the off position. Be sure the control switch is in the off position. All of the following parts will be taken to the sink for brush cleaning. Slip the torque arm out of position. Remove the hand screws. The freezer door. Remove the torque rotor. Slide the beater assembly and scraper blade out of the freezing cylinder. Remove the drive shaft and seal from the rear shell bearing. Also remove the drip pan, drip tray, and splash shield. Prepare a sink with cleaner sanitizer. Completely disassemble all components, O-rings, gaskets, and seals. Thoroughly brush clean all of these parts making sure all lubricant and mixed film is removed. Place all the sanitized parts on a clean dry surface to air dry overnight. Return to the freezer with a small amount of sanitizer and the black brush. Clean the rear shell bearing at the back of the freezing cylinder. Wipe clean all exterior surfaces of the freezer. The freezer is now sanitized and ready to be reassembled in the morning and filled with fresh mix. We hope this video is helpful in the proper operation of your Taylor freezer.